All right, looking at downtown Youngstown, Whoa. pretty decent shower moving through the city right now. Dark clouds pushing on over toward uh, Hubbard and into western Pennsylvania. Temperatures still pretty mild, but starting to drop now into the upper 50s after a high in the mid 60s. But let's get right to Doppler radar, uh, show you where those heaviest showers are this evening. Uh, they've been working their way across most of Trumbull and Mercer counties over the past a couple of hours, but some of that heavier rain starting to sneak on down into Mahoning County now, and that does include the city of Youngstown. Here you go. Moderate rainfall from Southington along 422 to Warren on over to the airport. Even one strike of lightning there just south of Sharon uh, this evening. And this heavier rain now moving through Sharon and Hermitage uh, south to West Middlesex. And then a heavier shower. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little lightning pop out of this one as soon as well on the east side of Youngstown. This is moving through the Coitsville area up toward Hubbard and eventually on toward West Middlesex and Pulaski in western Pennsylvania over the next uh, hour. Off to the west, drier air is starting to filter on in behind the storm system, and that'll set the stage for better weather as we go into the weekend. So showers, the chance of a thunderstorm this evening, temperatures falling on through the 50s. Now by midnight, I'm expecting most of this rain to be out of here. However, some lingering fog and clouds, so they're going to stick around uh, right into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures falling uh, through the mid 40s to get your Saturday morning started. It won't be real pretty to, to start your Saturday with the fog and uh, the clouds around, but as we go through the day, I'm looking for those clouds to start breaking up through midday, and it'll take a while for those temperatures to jump, but once those clouds break out and the sun pops out, temperatures will build through the mid to upper 50s, and then those clearing skies on into tomorrow night. That means cold temperatures tomorrow night. The risk for some frost, patchy frost into your Sunday morning. Temperatures are falling into the low to mid 30. So a cold start a Sunday morning, but those clear skies will lead to a lot of sunshine, and that's good news for your Sunday. Afternoon highs pushing in the mid to upper 60s close to 70 degrees by Sunday evening. Temperatures tonight uh, from the mid 50s to the mid 60s across the area. We're going to drop on down into the lower 40s by morning. Uh, watch for those uh, showers and thunderstorms this evening could put brief heavy rainfall down over the next hour or two, especially across southern Trumbull, northern Mahoning counties over in the southern Mercer and northern Lawrence. Tomorrow, 58 degrees, decreasing clouds, patchy fog early. Uh, watch for the pollen. It's going to crank right back up with that sunshine tomorrow and last through the weekend. That's tree pollen, of course, and that'll stick around through next week. Temperatures warming up to near 70 on Sunday. Mostly sunny skies after that morning frost. Mid 70s on Monday. Most of the day stays dry. Chance of showers late day into Monday evening. And then Tuesday, mid to low 60s. Scattered rain showers around. We'll get a break Wednesday, Thursday, the next round of showers and storms moving in. And that's decent rainfall. We're talking a half to three quarters of an inch on Tuesday, another half to three quarters of an inch on Thursday. Uh, so starting to put the raindrops on the ground after our dry streak. Yeah, those kind of rain totals will keep things moist for a while, keep, won't they? Keep it going. Yep. Keep the spring going. Thanks, yep. Paul.